With us now is Deidre O'Connell. Welcome to the show again. Thank How are you? Thank you for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I have gotten to be so much more real estate savvy just by having you come on uh, every month and it's so fabulous. And now we're in a new year, 2021. What do you see the real estate trends being uh, for this year? What's your, what do you foresee? So funny you ask that question because there's one thing we learned last year okay. is that we can't foresee anything completely with, with complete clarity. Okay. I sat and I stood before our entire company last February and I told them that 2020 was going to be the most amazing year ever. And interestingly enough, from a real estate perspective, it ended up being amazing, but God knows it was an awful year in every other aspect. Absolutely. And here on Long Island, we were shut down for over two months. We could not open a house. We could not physically show a home. And yet we ended the year ahead of 2019. So that to me indicates that there's still incredible demand for Long Island homes, and that's exciting. We also couple that with the fact that interest rates are still so historically low that people are taking advantage of that opportunity to buy a home or to upgrade or to change their lifestyle. I mean, people are really, again, looking at their life and a house is not just a place to sleep anymore. A house is a home. It's a place to eat, sleep, and live. Mm -hmm. So it's diff totally different than what people were thinking ju just a year ago. And sometimes even putting in a nice home office. Absolutely. Right? Because uh, I should say, eat, extra I meant eat work, eat work, <laughs> sleep, and sleep, play. And it's play. like the whole, yes, right? It's the whole exactly, gamut of everything. Exactly. And what about the prices? It seems like the prices are able, people are getting more, I guess, yes. a little bit more. The prices have adjusted because of lack of, of supply. Okay. We don't have enough homes for the demand. And what happens is supply and demand, and we all know how that works. If uh, two people want a home, they're going to bid against each other. Three people bid even more. So the prices have been escalating primarily in response to a uh, lack of demand. We okay. need more homes on the market. So if you're looking or thinking of selling your house, this is this is the time to sell it. Now is the moment. Absolutely. Okay. Because um, usually the first people to put their houses on, a, on the market during a time where there isn't enough supply get the most money. Okay. And as homes come on, obviously things begin to level out and prices also level out. Okay, yeah. so you want to jump in. Jump in, jump absolutely. In. Um, and the last time that we talked, uh, we were talking about the importance of a virtual tour. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Is that still going to be important during 2021? Yeah, I mean, that was a game changer for us last year in the sense that we could show homes virtually when we couldn't show them physically. And we were very proud of how our agents adapted so well to that. And, uh, you know, people do still want to touch and feel, yet, COVID's still in our midst. People are nervous. Homeowners are nervous. They don't want people necessarily in their homes in, in, a, in abundance. So this is giving everyone an alternative. And we're seeing a lot of success with people from out of town. People don't want it. They know they have to move to Long Island, perhaps for a job or, or, or a lifestyle change. And they don't want to be doing a lot of travel now. So we have been selling houses by um, people virtually touring them first. And then when they really are ready to put pen to paper coming in and physically seeing them. Them. So it's here to stay. And I think it's actually been a benefit to everyone um, because it, it, it saves a lot of the time of tire kicking through houses and things like that. The real buyers get to see what they need to see. Right. More than anything is if you're interested in five houses, you can narrow it down to three because you'll see, you know, I, like I could never better. live with that kitchen. Right. I could never live with, you know, wh whatever that the thing is that you need. So, right. Oh, I like yeah. that. That sounds like fun. Time. It's like window shopping. Yes. From your actual privacy of your home. Um, and then what about the role of the real estate agent? How has that changed? Mm -hmm. You know, do they have to do more paperwork? What's it like now? I think it, more than paperwork, um, we pride ourselves in having the most professional real estate agents in the industry. And that means understanding, yes, the process, that's a given, but also knowing their communities, knowing all of that, all of the ins and outs of the transaction. And now with people perhaps looking at homes more virtually even, they need to have that expertise, that professionalism. They need a guide. They need the person that's going to advocate for them. And, and that's what our agents are trained to do. And we do believe that buyers should be represented. Buyer brokerage is an extremely important uh, representation that many buyers don't fully understand. They think when an agent shows them a house, 
that they're representing them. Most of those agents are representing the seller. Okay. So today, more than ever, you should be signing up with your agent as a client mm. and making sure that you're being represented. Okay, so you can list your house, or if you're in the market to buy, then make sure that you engage with an agent as mm -hmm. your agent. Correct. So Correct. that they could look for the best for you. Mm -hmm. And if you're selling your house, you absolutely need an agent more than ever as well. Oh, yes. Because you need to be sure that everyone is vetted. You need to be sure that your house is properly positioned so that you get the most money uh, that you deserve in a market that's changing and shifting by the minute. And I also think pre-qualification. I think that a seller wants to make sure that before you show my home make sure that the person's pre-qualified yeah, and they're qualified absolutely you, uh, you don't want people just coming through and not being in a position to uh, to buy your house and you certainly don't want people coming in bidding on the house getting all the other buyers moving along and then finding out they can't perform so you need your real estate professional to help you through that process lovely thank you as always thank you wishing you the best for 2021 yes. uh, and we're off to a great start right thank you yes thank nice you. to see you again yes. Stay tuned for more and you can go to their website for all these great details and more. Thanks for watching.